Okay, crew members, so today, y'all, we are going to be making some quesadillas, some chicken quesadillas. So I just have here some thinly sliced chicken breasts in a bowl that uh, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to. I added some Southwest Chipotle seasoning from Mrs. Dash, and I added some uh, jalapeno and garlic seasoning and some chili and lime seasoning. And then I'm going to mix those up real good, get it real coated like so. Let them sit for a little bit, and then I'm just going to sear these off in a pan. Now, I'm not going to just cook these straight in a pan and then cut them up and put them in a quesadilla. I do want to shred my chicken, and I want it to have a little bit more flavor than just pan frying them. So I'm just doing this just to lock in some flavor, um, starting off this way. And once I get them pretty much where I wanna, uh, want them at, I want to go in and use some chicken broth to deglaze the pan and just scrape up all those bits from the bottom. Y'all, this is just going to make my braising liquid. Now, I saw these taco seasonings. They're new at uh, Walmart, and so um, they're from Mateo's, and uh, I'm just going to start and use this uh, Southwest uh, Ranch one today um, just to try it out. But I, anyway, I added it to that liquid. Like I said, this is going to be a braising liquid. I'm going to turn my pan all the way down and put the lid on my uh, Dutch oven and then just let those kind of cook in there for about an hour or so. And then, um, y'all, these are my fajita veggies that I'm going to be adding to the quesadilla. Um, and I just go ahead and chop those up while uh, the chicken is cooking. I added some olive oil to that, you know. Uh, and then I'm going to go in with this fajita blend seasoning from Kinder's. This is my first time using it, and it was really good. So um, I seasoned everything. As y'all see, um, I don't just, you know, just cook some things. Like, some people might just char these vegetables. Uh, not me. Uh, they get seasoned first. Now I'm going to make my chipotle sauce, which, um, hey, there's many ways to make this. I like to use mayonnaise and sour cream just to give it a balanced taste. Then I'm gonna go in my chipotles in adobo sauce. Then I'm gonna add some of this lime juice. Yeah, I know this is my favorite lime juice. Uh, then I'm gonna take it, put it in this blender, and then just mix it up to the smooth, uh, like so. Y'all see that? Yeah. And then this is great for the quesadilla. Uh, halfway through the cooking, y'all, I did vent the pan and I flipped them and just let that sauce in there just kind of uh reduce down and uh when it was done it was kind of thick and so here you just see me putting my fajita veggies in this uh in this pan and just you know charring these off uh, my pan is on high because i want the water to evaporate from the veggies quickly and then uh so i can get some color on them and when they're done they're gonna look like this yeah this is my chicken after I shredded it, and I did add some of that juice to the shredded meat. That's why I wanted to do it that way. It's the maximized flavor. And then here, me just building the quesadilla. I wanted to do this on my Blackstone, but the weather didn't permit, so I'm doing it in a pan. I just went down with uh, one um, tortilla, added the uh, chipotle sauce, cheese, then I'm gonna add some, that shredded chicken, and then I'm gonna also uh, go in with those fajita veggies. And then after that, mochis. And then cover that bad boy up with the tortilla, press it down, get it on there, and then flip, boom. Look at that. Oh, that's a quesadilla right there for you. Okay, y'all, this is the end result, y'all. Um, you see the quesadillas also. I used um, some leftover taco meat I had and made some um, open face crunch wraps and uh, served this up with some cheese sauce it was absolutely delicious and uh, yeah i'm catching them up on AJ, this is Danny with hashtag. 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 CCTV.
Hey, crew members, welcome back to our eating show. show. Today, guys, we are back with another month. Ball day, you tell them what we eating today. Good. Y'all, then we got some open face crunch wraps and then some chicken quesadillas. Yeah, y'all. So, y'all saw the video beforehand. That's what we got today. If this is your very first time on our channel, thank y'all for being here. We're going to ask that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. After you subscribe, make sure you turn on your notification bell. Set your notifications to all so you can notify every single time the candy drops some heat for that ass. Oh, yeah. And remember, remember to hit that like button. Y'all remember hashtag grow, baby, grow. Hashtag the candy's on the road to 150,000 subscribers, y'all. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you return, welcome back, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and pray, and we're gonna get into this food. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive, Lord. I said to be nourished our bodies and bless us, so let's worship all these things we ask in your son, Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, y'all, so today I do have some uh, water, but I'm also drinking a clearly Canadian. Ooh, this is a strawberry. Summer strawberry, I think. If it'll focus, there you go. Yeah. Go ahead and pull it up, pull it up. There you go. Oh, yeah, we want that little feed sound. A little feed. It's so delicious. All right, y'all. Okay. These, uh, these are the homemade, uh, homemade quesadillas, y'all. I did, um, you also have better chicken and cheese. And uh, fajita veggies, I did make one without it because, you know, how dang it is. <laughs> and this is like a crunch wrap, but instead of, uh, like, actually wrapping everything, I did it like a crunch wrap, put, uh, what's it called in the middle, a uh, toaster in the middle, and put another tortilla on top, and then just put the stuff on top, kind of like, like a Mexican pizza of sorts. Anyway, y'all, so I told you, hold on, because I'm going to try to cut it if you want me to. I just want to go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get these uh, veggies out of the hell way. I don't want that sh Hey. We're going to swap this up, so it might be a little cut here, and then <laughs> we'll come back. All right, y'all, so this is quesadilla right here. I know, y'all, this might get a little messy because, <laughs> you know, wish we could have ate them right away because they were crispier, but... Hey, either way. I'm just kind of rip it open. Mm -hmm. Yikes. So I'm just putting some mm -hmm. sour cream in here, y'all. And I'm going to mix it up with this salsa verde. Yeah. Delicious. What's today? Friday. Mm -hmm. It's Friday, y'all. Mm -mm. <laughs> little underwhelming, I know. Shut up. You get a tent, can I have some sour cream? <laughs> Thank you. Mm. We were talking about the other day how the week is going by right fast. Yeah, everything. Seemed like it was just last Friday. Why? Matter of fact, last Friday we were talking about how quick. Last Friday came. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Mm. It's how a cream set it off. Didn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. I know you don't like the 
Mm -hmm. He was like, you ate them the last time. I was pulling and biting. You know. One day I'm gonna grow up. But for mm. now. <laughs> I'm a crunch wrapper now. <laughs> Woo. Y'all, we have some new Airbnb neighbors and they dogs bark. It's a bunch of bull. Uh -huh. Go from worse to worse. <laughs> oh. right, your house. No. What? I thought you said it's not even your house. I, said, I really need to get a house. Oh yes. <laughs> I've done apartment living as long as I think mm -hmm. I want to. Yeah. I'm over it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even, I'm not even. <sighs> I'm just over people. Mm-hmm. And them not caring. <laughs> you know, I didn't like, there's a little shit that is aggravating me now, like. I walk out my front door and I see a neighbor or something, like it like in close proximity, like walking past or standing with their dogs or something. And he make eye contact with me and then look at me like, mm -hmm. like yeah. hey, <laughs> like say hey or something mm -hmm. like Speak. Right. Cause they be looking like we don't live here. No, you don't. I'm over, <laughs> I'm over everything in general. Mm -hmm. Then with the dogs barking, I thought we was just being, you know, whatever. Like maybe just cause they right here on the wall, we're hearing them more. But we heard the neighbor that is diagonal to us yesterday stomping on the floor. <laughs> I guess trying to make them shut up. It didn't work. So let me give you like a clear understanding because, mm -hmm. hey, so the place next door to us and now it's, it's an Airbnb. So clearly there's somebody that that's staying there that does some kind of contract work. You see they drive a utility van. Mm -hmm. I forgot what it said, but it's on the side of the van. Mm -hmm. So clearly they're doing they in they having to stay there for work or whatever reason. Now, it's a family. The lady is not working. Mm -hmm. She there all day. So that's why I really have a problem because you know what I'm saying, every time I come home uh, during the daytime or you know, even on the um when it was the weekend and we were here all Sunday, like you leaving and your dogs they got three dogs and two of them. You can hear two of them just mm -hmm. barking. Inset, it's nonstop. And when you go outside, you can see them. They're at the window. They got the blinds open. So you can see them. They're at the window just barking nonstop. Whenever they leave, it's on. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And the problem I got is because it, it's, it's going to be aggravating anyway. But I try to give a little, you know what I'm saying? I try to have a little bit of, you know, um, grace, I suppose. Yes, not be an asshole automatically. I ain't trying to report nobody. Right. But I'm just the fact, like, like we noticed that she's not, she's not working. Whoever it is, is him. She be here. So I'm just like, and then you take it. I see you taking. It's like the dog that they taking is a dog that don't bark. You leaving with dogs, but you're not leaving with the right one. Right. <laughs> I'm just like, like you can hear it through the walls. No matter you got the TV on, no matter what, just you can hear it outside when you're walking by. One of the dogs is pretty big, mm -hmm. okay? So it's just, yeah, my crunch wrap don't went soft. Mm -hmm. It ain't a crunch wrap no more. And I think most of the issue at this point for me is that we have dogs, they don't bark. Exactly. But then when we, um, 
notify the manager about it, they're still not doing anything about it. She's still leaving them home and letting them bark. Well, when she leaves out, she leave all three hundred. She don't be caring. Mm. When he leaves, he will take the wrong dog. <laughs> and y'all know we got dogs, so. Mm hmm. But I ain't never. Because we went to, went to hotels or resorts with our dogs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Now, I don't, they're not about to, you know, disturb other people's, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we don't like to hear it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, I think it's inconsistent because first, first of all, I broke down, I sent the, uh, I sent the apartment manager an email first. And I let her know that I was tired of mm -hmm. this barking that's nonstop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was all day. And I was like, I ain't trying to get them kicked out or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. I said, but they need to they need to do something. Right. Like, the first day or two after I sent the email that it was a little bit more under control. Well, I'm going back the same way it was. Well, I know how Airbnbs work. Unless you book enough. Right. And most of those Airbnb people, because whoever owns the Airbnb is the one that's getting the emails from the apartment manager, not the people that's over there. And they having to relay that to them. Now, usually with an Airbnb, like you in a community or something like that, and, you, and once you become too much of a disturbance to people who is already living there, they kick you out. Right. And I'm trying not to keep complaining because that's probably what's going to end up happening if, you know, because otherwise it jeopardizes the person who does the Airbnb. It jeopardizes their their um, status with the apartment. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, I'm pretty sure. They don't, they're pretty strict on stuff like that. Every Airbnb I book that's like an apartment or something like that, they always be like, do not disturb the tenants that are, you know what I'm saying? Because... They, they just don't allow it. and I'm trying not to be because I'm not I'm trying not to do it but I'm just like you look at me when I come out my door kind of like almost defiant I, right. and I'm not trying to make shit up I'm trying to make sure my head but I just you know you know when somebody is you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so it's just like keep playing with me right mm -hmm. and then I saw AJ the other day I took Rita out to go pee and their dogs were in the dog park they just had them out of course they didn't have leashes on, but it was fine because the gate was closed. So, as soon as I come out, here they go barking. And so, I'm letting her pee or whatever. Mind you, we already told y'all that Rita is little. She is probably what? Right. All the three, three pounds, maybe. Three, so, three maybe four. But. Right. So, I'm letting them pee, or letting her pee, and I'm still, like, looking out of my peripheral or whatever because... I don't know what them dogs gonna do, and I know that gate ain't sturdy. So then the middle-sized dog somehow finds a way to get under the gate and just like starts to run towards me. So I quickly pick her up because I don't know, I don't know your dog, and I don't know what you, you know, what your dog gonna do. So the lady was like, "I'm sorry or whatever," and then the stinking man just he just comes and gets the dog and just walks right past past me and says nothing. Bitch. I'm just like, this your dog too? <laughs> you ain't gonna say nothing? Let me over there. No, I was like, I'm just picking her up because, you know, I done heard horror stories about people, dogs, you know, mm -hmm. smaller dogs or even big dogs. Cause you know that video you showed yep. me? That was, I mean, the man's dog was big, but the dog that came over the fence was big too. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, I'm worried about her dogs are getting that, hurt. Man. Yeah. You never know, basically. You never know if somebody's right. dog is friendly or not. And when it's bigger, you got a dog that's three to size. Mm -hmm. I mean, if if a dog get her in a jaw in in their jaws, it's pretty much over. They can right. crush her. But in any case, and I, I mean, he ended up being friendly, but I didn't know I didn't know whether he was gonna be friendly or not. Right. You know. You know. But everybody who got a small dog should know that. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying. You on the guard for people dogs. You whether it's you know whether it's stray or you know somebody's dog because. That's that's usually how yeah. it happens. Somebody dog, somebody big dog get off a leash. They look at them like a like a one day plush toys. Toy, at home. Right. 
But my issue, the issue on that the dog uh, got out, my issue was he had no remorse. He's the problem. Anyway. Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> he had no remorse. He day, didn't say anything. The other day. He just picked the dog up from off our porch, off our stairs, and just kept right on going. The other day, we got back home in the evening, and we sat in the car. The dogs was barking. We were looking at them in the window, and you could hear them. It sounded like they outside. It like, did. Because at like, first, I was like, is that them dogs barking? He told my dad, that sound like it's outside. I said, no. That is them. And, and so, but the, the thing was, he left with the small dog. That's why I didn't even, I, didn't, I was like, he left, not the small dog, the one that don't bark, I right. think. Because two of them be barking. Mm -hmm. And it don't sound like three, it sound like two. Because mm -hmm. one is a big dog, it's got a, a harder, a louder bark, and mm -hmm. the other one is a smaller dog. So, um, anyway, he, he left. With the one that don't bark, and them two is going off, and mm -hmm. so we sitting there. I sat in the sitting in the car, like you know what I'm saying. We didn't go in, there. we were just sitting in the car talking. I'm like, I don't want to go in there and listen to that anyway. Mm -hmm. And then he pulled back up around the same time we getting out, and he's walking up to the porch while his dogs are clearly barking loud. And he look over, and I just looked at him like, like what? The and he just mm -hmm. gonna look away and go in that house. Like motherfucker, you playing with me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you playing with me now? Which he wasn't that friendly when he first got here. Because you remember when I told you when I went out to the store, he was over there looking at me like I didn't belong here. I'm like, you the one that don't. Some people is just assholes. <laughs> you can tell from the... You from are the one that don't belong here. But as you said before, we is ready for a house. I think I have. Yeah, I'm maxed out. I've had enough. I'm tired of the church. Oh, oh boy, dang <laughs> I've had enough. I'm maxed out. I ain't got no more. Mm -mm. Uh, I mean, that's just some things come with apartment living, and that's why I said it's just time for me to get, you know, my own. Right. I know right now it might not be the best time to be trying to buy a house, but if I'm not buying a house, if I still got to rent, I'm not trying to rent another apartment. Mm -hmm. I know that. I don't need to be around too many neighbors. This is probably, this, and this is not even bad, considering no. this is a small, this is, these ain't really apartments. These are like condos, so mm -hmm. it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's not as many people. You got 28 units all together. So, it's not that many people, but still. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you want your own yard. I know people deal with their neighbors or whatever. But I just, as, if I can deal with two <laughs> that are, like, over there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because we in the South. So, most times, North Carolina, South Carolina, you don't have to be on top of each other when you got neighbors as far as houses go. Right. That you're in townhouse. So, Hopefully we can find a place that's got a decent yard, that's got a neighbor, uh, <laughs> little space down. Because right. I'm just tired of folks. I'm just really, I really am. And then it's the whole, every couple of weeks, it's somebody different. Really. That's the, that's the, moment the too. most of my problem. Because every couple of weeks, you're getting adjusted to another person in the way they... Is either smoking or they're you know loud or the dogs is barking or they just I don't know mm -hmm. weird I don't know and then <laughs> see like I told y'all we don't have that many it's not that many like I told you these are like condos it's four units per building and the seven buildings out here and so it's really not that many people but see now they have like I said they've opened obviously they've opened up the place to uh what are you nuts coming from? I don't know, honey. It's that I told you it's it's their time. It's time for them to come out. It's getting warmer. Well, not really, but the months. But yeah, they've opened up they the uh, place to. I'm thinking like they're allowing any and every to do Airbnb now because we've had it started out to where when we lived here at first. There was like one or two Airbnbs out of all these units. Now I know for a fact that there's at least probably seven or eight mm -hmm. that are that are guaranteed Airbnbs. Mm -hmm. That are like and so eight out of uh, that's kind of a lot. Mm -hmm. Especially and then in our building, the one above us is which thank God I don't know what's going on right know, now. Ain't nobody but been ain't there nobody about been there. <laughs> nobody <laughs> been in there. Thank you, Lord. And uh <laughs> And then the one next door, it wasn't always, but it's become one. Mm -hmm. And um, their neighbor above them has been here. The one that's above next door, they've been here as long as we have. I told you, four mm -hmm. units per building, two upstairs, two downstairs. 
us and then the one that's like diagonal to us, mm-hmm. they've been here as long as we have. And but two, so that's two out of the four units in our building that's Airbnbs right. and not the like. And then so like like Danielle said, it's getting if that one becomes active again, then you know there's some people be saying long term, but if they're not, you got different people. Like I don't yeah, like now, that now. shit. I don't. I don't know how people. And then do. y'all remember we told that story about that one time we thought they was doing a Labor Day, uh, <laughs> a Labor Day prostitution <laughs> ring. Okay, goddamn, uh, two for a special <laughs> for Labor Day special. Shut <laughs> up, to my a Labor Day special. Come get it. While it's hot and ready. <laughs> but uh, like I don't like all that. Mm, I don't okay. like all that too. Cause I mean, when that's. Your home is your home, no matter whether it's an apartment or not. And so, like, whenever you got too much going on around you, that kind of disturbs your peace. You got different people. You're looking at somebody different every day. Like, I don't care who you are or what you look like. The mm-hmm. problem is, you know what I'm saying, just different people in and out. You always got to kind of have your guard up. Because right. people in 2024, you never know what somebody going to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you always, you, you don't know. Right. And then people crazy. People have domestic issues. Yes. And you going to stand this up like somebody, you know. Like, uh, I don't like it. Yeah, so. Don't like it. I wouldn't even like it if I was in, like, if I was at a house. If I was, and then that if I if I didn't have a good distance between me and my neighbor. And my neighbor's <clears throat> the neighboring house was always Airbnb mm-hmm. changing. I wouldn't like that either. Well, you remember that one we stayed in Huntersville? They were kind of close. Yeah. So, I can only imagine. I wouldn't like that either. Because mm-hmm. I just don't like the. You know the the different different people mm-hmm. uh, in and out, especially depending on you know the type of neighborhood you in. Right. You know, uh, I mean, it's just it's just too much. You know, you never know who the hell gonna be standing next door to you. <laughs> that shit, that shit kind of weird. Mm-hmm. You got some, not weird. I mean, really though, yeah. you got cause you got some strange uh, creepy crawly critters out here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Thank y'all for joining us. Y'all, I ain't eat much of nothing. This was good, even though it, it damn, was. even though it was a. Uh, well, I still crunched it. It wasn't bit. so crispy. No I more. crunched a little. <laughs> it wasn't so crispy no more. I crunched a little. But uh, thank y'all for joining us, y'all. We really appreciate it if you haven't already. Please make sure you subscribe, like this video, drop a comment down below, let us know what you think. Also, remember to share this video with everybody because sharing is scary. Care about us, care about us, y'all. We love you. We're gonna catch you on the next video. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to y'all. Y'all have a good weekend. Bye bye. <laughs>